Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Kai 200 landing. Now a lot of people still aren't sure how to do this, and this is the way I've been doing it in uh, patch 1.43. It's been working really well for me. So first off what you want to do is slow down. You do this by making some left and right hand turns to bleed off some speed. And I always deploy the landing gear. I used to with the previous patches I used to just belly land it and skid to a halt but that wasn't working so well for me anymore this patch so I decided to try the landing gear and that's what's been working real well for me so you want to get your speed down to about 200 maybe 190 or so on touchdown and try to get get your plane a nice uh, straight line so that there's not too much sideways movement you can use the guns to slow down a bit more if you want and then just do a nice gentle touch down here, you can see I'm shooting the guns a bit. Then just touch down, you bring the mouse cursor over the gun reticle and hold down the the brakes and then use your keyboard keys to keep the wings level and just keep them level as long as you can and at about 20 kilometers one wing will dip and there will be nothing you can do about it anymore But the wing won't break and you'll come to a halt as you see just like this so just to prove that this wasn't just a one-time thing I have another clip of me landing it in a similar fashion this guy's doing it the way I used to do it just landing without landing gear and skidding to a halt but as you can see he breaks his wing I think later he also broke his other wing off so that method wasn't working for me it's not working for him so try the landing gear method so here's the second clip again I'm coming in from a nice distance from the runway giving me time to slow down and all this, all this video is recorded from actual matches uh, these are with undamaged planes but the fuel is almost always empty and you can see me turning left and right bleeding some speed when you still have some speed you can make these turns pretty sharp but once your speed starts getting lower you have to be more gentle with the turns otherwise the nose starts to pitch down a lot so just be aware of that so as you can see 220 kilometers per hour that's pretty good so with landing gear down try to get a nice straight line up you can use the the first person view like this to get an even better lineup and you can use your guns to slow down a bit you see the little plane icon below the gun reticle that shows you exactly where your plane is going to touch down so just put that on the on the start of the runway and you should be fine and again applying brakes and using the keyboard keys to keep the wings balanced just come to a stop Uh, keeping those wings balanced all the way till the end and again at about 20 kilometers per hour one wing will dip and you'll come to a halt here we go one wing dipping and we've stopped and we're repairing and rearming So this is a clip of another landing that works, but it's slightly, slightly worse. It's not as nice as the other ones. I come a little bit off center from the runway, and here we go, touching down at a relatively good speed, about 190. So that's good. Here we go. Should have touched down maybe a little earlier, because I'm gonna run out of runway almost. So keeping those wings balanced. So this time I see the end of the runway approaching a little too quickly, so I start firing the guns on the ground as you can see here. It's not really a good idea because it tends to make your plane wobble. And keeping the wings balanced, almost let one drop too early there, but here we go. And this time the plane rotates a little further than I would have liked, but it's still a good landing. So even if you mess it up a bit, you can still land it successfully. But I'm not going to say this method is perfect, because I'm going to show you some clips now where it doesn't quite work, or actually just one clip where it doesn't work. 
but this is uh, I got damaged a bit. You can see my my elevator is black. I can still fly just fine though, but I took some damage from an F-80. I think the ailerons are also a little bit damaged. The plane is not flying quite as good as it should. But anyway, I have enough speed to come in for landing. I'm trying to slow down. Slow down, lower the gear. This time I have absolutely no fuel, so I have to get it right the first time. Yeah, you can see the left aileron is definitely damaged. It's got some holes in it. So find the guns to help me slow down even further. Trying to line up with the runway. Almost went too low here. But I can pull up just in time. And put the plane on the ground. And start braking. Alright, the guns a bit. As you can see, my plane is kind of drifting to the left. So it's not perfect. I'm trying to keep the wings balanced. But this time, one of the wings drops quite a bit f before 20 km per hour and I can't keep it off the ground so here at 45 km per hour the left wing touched it down it looks like it's an okay landing but there we go bang and bang so I'm not gonna say this method works all the time because as you can see sometimes it fails but most of the time it's pretty good so finally I'm gonna leave you with this clip this is how you should all do your landings by the way coming right up So. Step one, always go head on with an F-80. That's the best way to land a plane. Take lots of damage. Turn to the right. And say, oh, hello landing strip. I think I'll land on you today. So gently turn your plane to the right. Dodge the trees, you don't want to hit those. That's a deduction of style points if you do. And then put it down on the ground, just like this. Engaging the enemy. Give it a nice little bounce, break a wing off, and come to a stop. <laughs> that, my friend, is the best landing you can do. <laughs> okay, so have fun trying to land your Key or Kai 200s. And, uh, Good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.